with early voting starting Saturday, we have reached a critical juncture in the Buffalo mayoral race. And today, the endorsed Democrat India Walden is accusing incumbent mayor Byron Brown of, quote, fear mongering with his latest TV ads. Our Steve Brown has that story. They would not inspect that house. Right. Democratic mayoral candidate India Walton this afternoon took a bit of a walking tour of the Grant Street area with State Senator Sean Ryan examining some things that needed attention. Earlier, Walton was forced to divert her attention from her campaign schedule. Perhaps you see my opponent's new lie-ridden, fear-mongering attack ad. A reference to the latest TV ad from the incumbent mayor Byron Brown's campaign. It mentions Walton's 2014 arrest in connection to an alleged threat to a co-worker, which Walton has flatly denied ever happened. And this often repeated claim about Walton's law enforcement plans. Now India Walton wants to slash the police budget. A hundred police officers will be fired. Vote to keep Buffalo safe. A charge Walton has dismissed repeatedly and did so again today. Let me be clear, the accusation that I will fire 100 police officers is a lie, plain and simple. I will not be imposing any layoffs in the department at all. At the same news conference, the communications director for the Walton campaign noted their new campaign ad hits the air tomorrow. Our ad is not negative. Our ad is not uh, putting out any salacious rumors. Our ad is not whipping up fear of, uh, of uh, the state of the city under uh, India's opponent. It does criticize Brown's support from Republicans and developers while suggesting it is time for a change. Brown has had 15 years to make things better. He has not. India Walton will make things better. That's the difference. Now, we did reach out to the Brown campaign today, but did not hear back. Tonight, Mayor Brown is scheduled to be at a fundraiser to be held at Seneca One Tower, hosted by real estate developer Douglas Jamal. Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.